Today, we're going to do a deeper dive into Python. To illustrate the different principles, I've decided to use a functionality that I built for a lot of different clients where we imported accounting entries. Now, this same functionality can be used to import things like sales orders or anything else where you've got a parent level record and a child set of records in a one to many. So buckle up, we're gonna go pretty deep with this, but at the end of it, you'll have a better understanding of Python, and you also have a useful tool that you can use for importing accounting entries. So we're gonna go ahead and build out a very basic framework. So we're gonna go into accounting, go to studio, I'm gonna go to edit menu, and add a new menu item, which will also create a new table for us. So we're gonna call this JE import, new model, don't need this guy. Okay, so now we have our JE import. We're gonna go ahead and throw this guy up, 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 all the way up here. Okay, and we're gonna create another menu for JE line item import figure that model again we don't need this stuff okay and once we've got this let's go ahead and throw it up here right next to the other one okay okay so let's go ahead and hop into these guys so for the je line let's start there okay so if we're familiar with accounting we know that for each journal entry line we need an account. So we're going to say account. Okay. Confirm that. Then we're going to go ahead and change the name to account. We do want that description, but we're also going to throw in a float for our debit and one for our credit. Lastly, we need to create a linkage to our journal entry so that then when we have that, we can go ahead and say, and actually it's JE import tool. Okay. Okay. Now we have a nice base for our journal items. Let's go ahead and hop over to our journal entries now. So to make sure we're good with journal entries, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have what we need. So we need a name, looks like we need a reference, a date, and a journal. So the name is already here. We've got it being called as description, we'll call it name. And then looking at reference, we're going to go ahead and drop in another character field. And then we need to come in here and add our accounting date and our journal. In case you didn't catch it, journal is a many to one, so make sure you set that up properly. For the structure that we'd set up, we also would want to stick in a one to many for all of our journal items here. And we're gonna add a Boolean real quick, just to make it so that we can track what we have moved over and what hasn't been moved over yet. Okay, that took a while. Let's go ahead and hop over into the code. So for this, we're going to go ahead and use a server action. If you need a refresher how to get there, go to server actions. And we've already created ours, but you would go ahead and go to new. We're using this action right now. So go ahead and name yours create journal entries, tie it to the model JE import that we set up before, and click on execute Python code. Okay, so don't feel betrayed. I've already built out the code, but I'll walk you through every piece of it. So the first thing we do here is create a variable a list that is going to hold all of our journal lines. After that, we've got a variable called SM, which I set up to check whether our debits and credits equal. So I don't want you guys feeling shortchanged, so we're gonna take this step by step. So we're gonna say for LNE in record dot, so we're saying for each record in this set right here, we're going to go ahead and say, for each line in journal items, so X Studio journal items, you can see it right there, or you can grab it here. We want to do something. So the first thing we want to do is add to our variable here. So we're going to say plus equals. So we're actually going to clean up my code a little bit. And we're going to say we want to add 
the debit, so X Studio debit minus the credit, X Studio credit. And at the end, we'll expect this to be zero. After that, we want to append to our variable here. So we're going to say journal lines dot append. Okay. I'm going to copy this because I don't necessarily want to write it all out, but I will walk you through it. Okay. So we're wanting to append to this list and we want to say account ID in this instance is LNE. So our variable here, X studio account dot ID, which we're again, we're pulling from the journal line. And so looking at this, we want to go to this variable and it's X studio account. So we want the ID of that. Same thing with the debit. We want to go in and we want to say debit is going to equal X studio debit. Credit is going to do the same. And finally, our name or our description here is going to go over to the name on the journal line. So taking a deep breath and reviewing, essentially this is the field that we're wanting to write to on the journal items table. This is what the value is going to be. Same thing with this. This is debit, the debit field on journal items, and this is the value that it's going to be. Okay? Just want to make sure everybody's on the same page. Once we've got all of this, we're going to go ahead and check real quick that the value of the rounded sum, so our variable here, is zero. That's just to make sure that we don't get an error because if Odoo sees that the debits and credits aren't equal, it won't let us post this. We're then going to go ahead and create a new journal entry. So this is a variable right here where we're storing that new journal entry. And it's going to be, we're creating it on account.move. We're using that create method. And we're setting the value of these attributes, the value of date, journal ID, ref, line IDs. And line IDs is going to be our list here and the name. Once we've created that, we're going to go ahead and run the action post on our new journal entry, okay? And we're going to go ahead and make sure that we say this has been transferred by setting our Boolean over here on JE import to true. So that's the code. Really a little bit exhausting here to go through all of that, but it helps you to see how everything works so that you can use that for yourself. So let's go ahead and grab some data so we can try it out. So we've got our nice little Excel workbook here for importing from. For journal entries, we need our accounting date, our journal, our name, and our reference. Over on the journal items tab, we need our import JE, our account, our description, our debit, and credit. As with any import, the trickiest part is going to be our relational fields. So make sure your naming is correct on the journal and on the account, because if those relationships are not accurate, it's going to kick this back for us. So let's go ahead and hop back into Odoo and let's import our journal entries first, just because our journal items refer to them. So we need them in there first. So we're going to go to the little cog, import records, and we're going to upload the file, which is this import example. Okay. And we've already got our file lined up nicely so that we've got these fields set up well. So we've got accounting date, journal, name, reference. Want to make sure that's good, but we're going to go ahead and import. So we have our first line in there now. Now let's hop over to our JE line item import. We're going to go to the cog, import records, upload file, and we're going to go here. And we want to make sure we're going to our journal items now instead. So import JE, account, description, debit, credit, all looks good. Let's go ahead and import. And you can see now we've got these two guys. And if we go to JE import, we see there are two records tied to this guy here, which is important. Okay, so we think we're ready. Let's go over to create journal entries. Make sure to create that contextual action so that we can see it. We're going to refresh so that our contextual action comes in. And once it's refreshed, we're going to go ahead and select this. And we're going to go to actions and create journal entries. Okay, so let's go over to accounting, journal entries, and check if it came through properly. So from what we see, we have this beautiful journal entry that was created for us and then posted. And then going back to what we have on our JE import, we also have the little indicator that it did transfer. So we're looking good. Okay, 
So we've done a lot here, but what if we made this even more powerful? What if we have so much data here that every time we try and push it, it just stops? Well, we can get around that. We're going to go ahead and take this code and put it into a scheduled action so that we can have this run 10 records at a time overnight. So let's go ahead and dive back in. We're going to duplicate this tab and we're going to go in and we're going to bring up our scheduled actions here. Okay, we're going to create new and we're going to name it the same thing. Create journal entries and we're going to say from import functionality. We're going to go ahead and set this up on our model, JE import. Okay, we're going to set a time for this where we want it to run next, obviously sometime in the future. So we're going to go ahead and say sometime tonight, apply that. Then we're going to say infinite number of calls until you're finished. And then we're going to start building this guy out. So I just realized, and this is kind of funny, that I made a really big mistake with the server action. We only had one record, so it worked anyway, but you might've caught it. So bravo to you. If you did, I'll show you how to fix it real quick. Okay, so I forgot to put for record in records. It still ran on the first record and only record, but we need to tab that in and make sure it's good. So there, we're nice and clean there. So now that we're clean there, let's go ahead and copy this code and we're gonna bring it over to our server action here, okay? So let's move that over, and we're going to go ahead and create a variable for ourselves of all these guys that haven't been transferred yet. So we're gonna call this non-transferred JEs, and we're gonna say the environment is our guy right here, xje import. We're going to say dot search. And we want everything where X Studio transferred is equal to false. Now we're going to go ahead and say for record in non-transferred JEs. We want to clean this up a little bit so that it looks good. Okay, yeah, it looks good. The last thing we're going to do is make sure that we have a bite-sized population. So we're going to limit this to 10. And that is just going to run on things that haven't been transferred yet, right? So eventually we should get through all of this. So we've built something very useful here. This allows us to get data into Odoo, put that data together, and then push it bit by bit so that we don't have to be monitoring this and waiting and getting that lovely message where it says, go get a cup of coffee. As always, I hope you take from this something that you can use for yourself. There's a lot in here. I'll leave it up to you what you use it for, but good luck.